So we're going to select the polyline. We're going to right click, make use of our uh, CSM. We go to polyline and you see this option that says show polyline nodes. So at the moment, as you can see in the command line and on my pointer, it says type number of node to show. 0 to 7, F for first or L for last. So I'm going to start off with the first one. So I'm just press F on the keyboard. And now I can just press N for next. So there's note number 1, there's number 2, there's number 3, there's number 4, 5, 6, and 7. So if I want to delete note number 4, I've got two options. Option 1 will be, if I select the polyline, go down to my polyline commands, I can say delete note. Okay, it will ask me, any kit note to be deleted. But if you read the command line, I can be more specific on the number itself. So I can press N for number, and I can say 4, and I press Enter. And that's exactly what it did. Now, you can also indicate the node, but here comes a more practical explanation that why I would like to make use of a number. If I'm going to select that node number 4, and I'm going to move it and place it on top of node number 3. So what I should have now is two nodes at the same position. So if I go to my polyline, I go down to show polyline node, Caddy will still tell me that there's seven nodes, although if I go F or first, then I go next, that is node number one, two, there's node number three, and node number four, five, six, and seven. So if I want to get rid of node number four, then I'm going to select the polyline, right click, we go to polyline, delete node, once again, I'm going to make use of the number option, so I'm going to press N for number, and I'm going to say delete node number 4. Now, as soon as I press enter, press escape, select my polyline, if I'm now going to ask Caddy to show me my nodes, now Caddy picks up that this is 6 nodes. So I can start off first, next, that's node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then also when it comes to when you want to extend your polyline. So if I'm going to start off with a polyline, for some reason, say you start first point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point, and then for some reason the client or the drawing created a new node at number four. So if I'm going to press escape, at the moment as you can see it looks like it is only one, two, three, four nodes, although if I'm going to select the polyline, right click polyline, show polyline nodes, I can say F for first, N for next, that's node 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So if you want to extend your polyline, what will happen now is if I'm going to right click, go to polyline, I'm going to ask Caddy, add nodes to polyline ends. Caddy will ask me, indicate end of polyline to add nodes. So if I'm going to indicate at the end, I will look and see, that's actually where the end is of the polyline. It's not where I've indicated. So that's why I would like to delete the last node. So just to fix it. So I'm going to select the polyline, right click, we go to polyline, I'm going to say delete node, and then if I read the command line, can he ask us to indicate the node, or I can press L for last, press escape. So now if I'm going to select the polyline, and I go show polyline nodes, as you can see now it picks up four. I'm going to say F for first, I'm going to say next, one, two, three, four. So now if I'm going to make use of the command to add a node, add node to polyline end, where would I like to start? I would li like to start at the end, so indicate the end, and as you can see, now I can carry on. That's the advantage, it's been added to Carry26.